Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanilla Minecraft. I'm just working on uh, sprucing up the little house area here. I started putting the walkway in. I'm using uh, diorite here. Uh, well, polished diorite. Uh, at the moment, there are no stairs for any of the stone types other than uh, like cobblestone or whatever. And the stone brick stairs. Uh, and there's like sandstone stairs and stuff like that, but uh, there's no um, diorite, granite, or andesite stairs at the moment. So I'll just be using cobblestone and then replace them when the other stone stairs come out if they ever do. Uh, also, the pathway coming down from the house here, I'm going to take off in that direction. I've already marked where it's going to stop here. And uh, it's going to cut back into the into the mountain here, where I want my secondary entrance. I've already started cutting it away. Got it marked here. I'm um, just digging this out, seeing where it meets up with the rest of the cave that my house is in. I went ahead and dug down the rest of the mine shaft to bedrock, opened up the, uh, the bottom of it, found a little bit of iron, a little bit of coal, there's some redstone down there. Haven't done a lot of digging. My last pickaxe broke, so came up to make a new one. Figured I would uh, record a little bit and show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, still haven't got any comments regarding what people uh, want me to cut and leave into the videos, so I figured I would just do about half and half. Do a little bit of mining on, a little bit of mining off, some building on, some building off. Uh, also, I've started uh, posting on Twitter when I release a new video in any of my series. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Here's the cave. Okay. Oh, I was actually almost dead on. I just kind of assumed that was far enough over. I hadn't actually checked the coordinates for it. When I did the, uh, the opening tunnel down there, I just went up to the correct uh, height level which is 70 here. Oh, well, that's awesome. Okay, well, I guess I'll clear this out. Alright, so secondary entrance was only uh, two squares off from where I thought it was going to be. Just kind of eyeballing the distance there. Anyway, uh, I'm on Twitter. Follow me, Twitter, uh, Legend Shift. Exactly the same as my YouTube name. So anytime I post a video, I'll uh, also uh, share it out on tweet, on a, in a tweet, for you guys that are uh, following me there. That way you don't have to keep checking back to my YouTube page. You'll get a uh, you'll get a tweet whenever it uh, uploads. Add a little bit of convenience to your life. Okay, uh, let me knock that down. Make this a flat wall here. Okay, uh, this area out front here, uh, I dug it all out. It had a lot of this andesite, I mean uh, diorite. Had a lot of diorite there in kind of a big pocket. So I mined that out, um, cooked up some smooth stone, filled in my hole, uh, and then put a layer of grass and dirt on top of it. I want this area here to be a um, kind of like a little park, scenic outlook over the water here. And I took out a lot of the grass blocks from the backside here that would allow mobs to come up here. They can still come down from the top though. I might put a, uh, a glass ceiling across this and uh, maybe around this area here. But I don't want to get rid of these trees. so. Not quite sure how I want to do it. Uh, as far as the mob spawning, I'm at uh, difficulty 1.6 right now on day five. Mm. Haven't noticed any more than just uh, one mob per group spawning. I had like uh, three, three single zombies and uh, a single spider, 
spawn earlier. He was right down there. Uh, the zombies were just one at a time. One was up there when I came out of the mine shaft. One was there, one was in the water. This might be the same guy. And one was like right here. So I know they weren't part of the same grouping. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they weren't part of the same grouping. They all spawned separately. Uh, I haven't done anything with a farm. Picked up a couple of sugar cane. It's already really grown. Uh, otherwise, that's about it. Um, yeah. That's about everything. Go ahead and clear this road out. Wait a minute. Did I do that wrong? Huh. Okay, whatever. Whatever. That's fine. It's going that way anyway. Dang it. It's good if I use the right tool. Not just punch it out with a stone block. Okay. Uh, and I'll fill the stairs in here in a second. Yep, need more. Let's go back for more. I used a whole stack here on this. This, uh, what's already done. That's a whole stack of diorite. Uh, the gold from the last episode finished melting. Um, I need one more to do a whole eight there. I mean, I shouldn't be too worried about my coal situation. Doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and make the stairs. And I don't have another stack of diorite, do I? No, I have to get some. There's some right here. I can always just replace uh, any of these walls I need with smooth stone. The good thing about this is uh, the diorite, making it into the polished diorite, is you don't have to use the furnace for it or wait on it at all. You just... Uh, put it in your crafting window like this and there it is and you don't lose any it's uh... you put in four you get four out so you get four and boom there's four more alright i don't know how many i need it wasn't too many more i think i had sixteen before i started doing that row so that would be uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 more. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I need the stairs. I'm not sure what I want to do with the pathway. I mean, I might make a line out that way. I'm going to eventually put a, uh, like a boat dock, fishing pier or something right in this area. I might do it over there on that side, like make a path kind of following the edge of the water there and extend it off in that direction just to make it a little different so you're not walking straight out into it or I might do one there, I don't know just depends I kinda wanna keep this natural bridge right here, I kinda wanna keep that I might uh, change the support pillar thing right here though and put a little bit of stone underneath it but uh, I kind of like the little lake right here, a little pond. I might extend that out, make it a little bigger. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's a lot of uh, fixing up this place needs. It's a fixer-upper. Also, the sides of this, um, on the edges of the pathway, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I might just make it all grass. Just take these out and put grass in there. Because I'm going to have this little park area here. Um, so there'll be a lot of grass in this area, so I'm not sure. My um, pickaxe is about to break. What have I got left on it? Eight out of 250? I have to make a new one.
use up my last two sticks here. There. Just preemptively make a new one. Till I find diamond, I'll be just sticking to cobblestone and iron tools. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm not sure about the floor in the uh, actual base area. I don't know what I'm going to make the floor out of. there. And let me take that one. Give me that. And we'll put you over here. Oh, wait a second. If the stairs are there, you're going to be hitting your head every time you come down. I guess I'll back it all up one square. One block. And that'll fix the um, the height issue. Should anyway. That should be fine. <clears throat> then I can put this right here. Okay, and that uses all my diorite. Okay, so I need, uh, how many stairs do I need? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 stairs. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more diorite. So it's going to be 14 and 12, because that's divisible by 4. you get four at a time out of them. <clears throat> well, I'm set on stairs for a while. <laughs> I was going to need more anyway for the mine shaft. That's not too bad. Alright. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. And maybe I can go up one more. <laughs> oh, that's stone, or that's dirt. And that comes straight up to there. Yeah, there we go. Fixed. Now for torches. Um, I'm gonna want one. Let's put them at uh, ceiling level, where the stairs are. Like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, there needs to be one here. On this level. fill that wall in. There we go. And let me go ahead and just take this out. I'll have it open up a little bit right there. There. So you walk into a larger room, larger area. Okay, that fixes secondary entrance. What have I got? I'm at uh, about 15 minutes recording. So I got about another 15. 
trying to make my videos closer to 30 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and open that out. Like that. Okay, so the stairs coming into the door are going to be right there. Door is going to be here. One, two, I'll probably want one more space there. Open up this wall. Just knock that out. And this is where the floor is. Let's knock that out. Just push this whole layer back a little. And I'll have steps up to the next uh, floor. Okay, so uh, entryway. I'll probably, I'll probably have crafting stuff right there. This is going to be the storage area. Bedroom somewhere in this area. Uh, exit the second entrance. And this is going to be a path up to the um, the grassy area up on top of the hill. Don't know how I want to do it though. Uh, let me knock this out. Open this hallway up. And then of course there's going to be the scenic uh, little viewing thing here. I don't know if I want to just make a path out to this and have a big uh, grassy garden area back there. Move the farm back there maybe. It's all surrounded by uh, cliffs and things. So If I light that all up it, it won't be bad at night. I can go out there and farm at night if I need to. Not have to worry about getting zombies dropped on me. Oh, more glass. Alright. I had glass in there. Okay, let's move all this. Okay, for doors, I'm just going to do wood right now. I might upgrade to iron later when I get a lot more. And as far as I know, all the doors are uh, changed now. Like, each type of wood has its own door style. So, uh... I don't know which one I want to use. Let me just go to the wiki here. See what type of door I like. The oak one has not changed. The spruce one kind of looks like a uh, castle door thing. Birch has kind of a uh, oriental look to it. The jungle one doesn't look great. The acacia door looks like a like a jail cell door, but like brownish. Uh, the dark oak door looks like a um, kind of just a really hardwood uh, regular house door. So I don't know which one I want to use. I mean the uh, oh where am I at here? The um, the lighter color going on here with the diorite would match the birch. Especially if I change the stairs into birch stairs, but I don't know if I want to do that. And are there any birch trees around? Oh, there's one like right there. Oh yeah, there's plenty. That's probably a birch forest right there. Uh, yeah, why not? Let me go ahead and knock the rest of this out. Get all this diorite for later. And I'll fill this giant hole in with more smooth stone. That's a lot of diorite. Wow, okay. Let me put a torch in here so you guys can see. If you want to fast forward through this part of the video, feel free. Uh, you can stop the fast forwarding as soon as you see me move away from the diorite. Because I'm going to be just face down in this stuff until I get to the end of it. Oh, never mind, there it is. Okay, you can stop fast forwarding now. I'll sit here and wait. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> okay, door's going to be here. I might do the entire floor out of diorite, I'm not sure. 
And I actually might just leave that hole there, just knock the rest of this out, and make this all just one giant area there. Maybe leave a couple of pillars up, uh, like support pillars. Maybe um, take the smooth stone, make them into the, uh, what do you call it, the chiseled? Or whatever, the, I think it's chiseled stone. What, la what layer is this? 71? Oh, okay. So the floor on the other side is just one, one block down from here. It's on this layer. Yeah, that might work. Leave a couple of pillars up. Like that one. Maybe kind of like in the corners of the rooms. Knock this out. Kind of make this all look a little neater. Uh, where's the ceiling on this layer? Right there. And then it goes up there. Knock out this behind here. Uh, this chest won't be here forever. It's going to get moved. That's just my uh, dump all your stuff in there chest for right now. Uh, give me one second. Checking the time. Uh, 21 and a half minutes. Okay. Still good. Uh, let me put some stairs in right here. Let's see. So I come in from the entryway right here. I do have a lot of space there. Let's pull this wall back one more. Like that. That'll line up with uh, this edge here where that pillar is. And then we're gonna put stairs in there. I might put a pillar there. But for now, let's just leave our torch there for the lighting. Don't want anything spawning in here. This corner back here needs a torch. And we'll just drop one there. Okay, entryway. Just spread some torches out in here. Out here on the road. And this whole area here has torches. Alright. Oh, let me move that one. This one's fine like there. could probably use one there. Uh, I think the bottom of this lake here, I'm gonna knock out some of those squares that are in the bottom of it and put in glowstone later. And uh, Or like glass with glowstone underneath it. Maybe have it kind of lit up from underneath. That would look cool. Have it like a glowing pond there. Let me... Oh, zombie. Where is he? Underneath, okay. Don't have to worry about him. He cannot get up here unless he walks in from the stairs. He has to take the proper entrance. <laughs> he sounds like he's right on top of me, but he's underneath. I think the sound engine is a little off. Okay, this line here. I'm gonna make uh, grass. I have to get the grass to spread across to there, though. Do this. Whoops, hello, you're in the wrong spot. Here we go. Replace our torch. Alright, just wait for the grass to spread, and then I'll replace these two blocks. Uh, the grass on this side won't take n near as long, probably. It's already got a grass block touching it. And I'm not sure if grass will spread down one block from the uh, from where it is. I'm not sure. I haven't messed around with grass spread mechanics too often. I usually just leave stuff exactly the way it looks. If it doesn't have grass on it, then oh well. <laughs> but uh, I kind of want this area to look nice for my uh, YouTube followers viewing enjoyment oh hello I just got a follower on uh, Twitter thank you for subscribing and following me on Twitter everybody 
Let's get rid of that. And put a step up right... Yeah, right there. No, wait. That stair's not touching this one. Uh, you know what I want to do? Oh, I don't want to move the chest right now. I'm going to have to. Let's get rid of this. Oh, it does the whole thing now. Can I just knock out half? Or is it going to do the whole thing? Oh, okay, it does half. It shows the animation on both, though. Okay, give me the chest. Give me the chest. Come on. There it is. Put that down. And... Put all this stuff back in it. And I'll reorganize everything later. Into their own chests. Gonna need that. Uh, need this. I've got more than a stack of diorite. Let me go ahead and convert that. Put that away. I uh, just hit R to organize it. <sighs> the habits I developed playing B team. Oh, hello. He made it up. Critical hit. Oh, this is spreading down from there. Okay, now I know. Unless it spreads more than one block from, like, here spread. Like, it skipped one to there, and that one skipped one to here, but I don't think it does that. I think it does one at a time in order. Not sure. Whatever. It's working. That's all I care about. Yeah, I think that was that guy. Did he actually path his way all the way around? Huh. Smartest zombie ever. Oh well, he's dead now. Well, he's more than... more dead than he was, <laughs> put it that way. Okay, now the reason I moved the chest back... I'm gonna take the pillar out of here... and put it here. Like so. And then I can put the stairs right here. That way we've got a kind of symmetrical look about this place. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Uh, do we want to do three? Everything is kind of three wide except for the entryway. Because you can't do three wide doors. That would look strange if I put like a pillar in the middle. <clears throat> if I did like three wide and I put a pillar in the middle of like stone or diorite blocks and then had a door on the left and a door on the right. That'd be strange. I might do it and see how it looks. But my other entryway is two squares wide. Huh. Subject to change. I'll leave it at two for now and fix it later. Because if I do three here, I'd have to do three there. And uh, this area here is going to open up into this back here. And I'll figure out how I want the ceiling to look later. And this layer here is going to meet up with... What? I thought that was the layer that this was at. Oh, it is. There's a step down there. Yeah, okay. Okay, my bad. This is the level. This is that level. <laughs> okay, I had it backwards. Let me fill some of this back in. <laughs> uh, I picked up my furnace, too. Alright, let's get some of that going. Cobblestone. We'll put one there, one there. Just throw some in there. It'll only make eight. Uh, one piece of coal makes uh, eight items. It cooks eight items. So, like, even though I've got 29 in there, I don't have to worry about it. Cooking only, like, six or something. 
and I'll just pull eight when they get done. In the meantime, let me finish cutting this out. Uh, that wall I'm gonna leave. Let's do this. Kind of put an edge around the top here. And I will cut one in here. And we'll get rid of this here. And leave that edge that's already there. I think up until this spot. And we'll have it taper up. Maybe. I don't know, all these like upward sloping like upward stairway looking slopes. Not sure how I want to fix those up. I mean there's a step up here so I mean I want to put a step up here also. But I want to do it one one further back so you don't like just run into the ceiling when you jump. But this has to go. And the pillar is there, so I might just cut it there. Yeah, gotta cut it there. Whoop, okay. Need more pickaxes. This is uh, a crafting table. Boom. And I don't have enough iron to make another one. Well, guess who's doing some mining after this episode? this guy. Or you know what, we're at 32 minutes right about uh, now, so I'll go ahead and cut it here, finish uh, mining out the rest of this, kind of stylizing this little, uh, I guess, living area deal. And uh, go do some mining, find some iron, do some mining, do some more mining, uh, fix the pond out front, Ooh, eat some food, holy cow I'm low. Uh, not starve to death. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.